Hello everyone, so today we are zoomed in because you're going to do something different. I'm going to do my makeup whilst I talk about flaking, okay? So, I want to tell you about my experience with flaking and how it has improved and so many other things that I think and believe contributed to it all. So I am not a makeup artist, my makeup is not the best. And most of my makeup stuff are dirty. I mean, I've got foundation on them and stuff like that. So, I mean, all of that. So, don't judge me. Okay, so let's get to talking. I'm going to just, you know, show you some of the main products that I'm going to use so that I... I said I don't mess this whole thing up because I've never done this before. Okay, so the primer that I use is from Zikel. There's the Zikel Primer Oil, oil Free whatever oh, it's a primer honey so it is very um you know my foundation is also from zikel high definition pro matte foundation in the shade sexy almond so that's what i'm going to be using i can't see anything in front of me i'm using my back camera to film so I'm going to be looking in a mirror right here if you can see it So right when I started my natural hair, you know, I told you all, if you don't know, I've always been obsessed about wash and go. I watched this movie called Annie, okay? And Annie's hair in the movie, she had a wash and go and it was so pretty. And all along, I thought that I had to be African-American to be able to have, you know, the wash and go look that I have on right here so when i saw the movie it was just so nice and i wasn't the youtube person and even if i i went on youtube i don't even go into that session of youtube like hair care and all of that but i've always been that person that loves to style hair even in uni uh, some of my friends even my relaxed friends will come to me and get their hair styled i could do some flat twist or something for them before they could you know they would to take to church and all of that. Let me say, I, I've always loved hairstyling. It has always been like a part of me, kind of. I saw on YouTube one time a tutorial on a wash and go. And I mean, I saw that they were using Eco Styler. So I was like, yo, and the person's hair before looked exactly like mine. But after the curls were defined, like this should let you know, I had no idea I had curls, you get it? So I was very much surprised. Like she just used a gel and her curls just pop like that. So yeah, I got into wash and go, started learning. I, I mean, I could go a day. I would spend a whole day trying to do my wash and go. And one problem that I always had was flaking. Because sometimes my curls would, you know, look all defined and nice. But after it is dried, it would flick. And at that time, I didn't even have, like, I didn't even think of drying it with a hooded dryer. So you can tell how I would wait all that time air drying. And then after it is fully dried, I mean, it would be flaking, like every gel that i use it would flake but when i watch these youtube tutorials i don't hear them say that my hair flaked afterwards and all of that so i was like ah. so does that mean like am i the only one that has problem with flaking and honestly i didn't even know what word they were using for that so i was like is it that i'm not getting the the, the thing right or i don't know and I, oh, I was always wondering, because starting off, I was just using water and gels. I was like, is there a problem with my water that mixes with a gel, or there's just a problem with my hair? Or probably because I'm not African-American, that's why I'm, I'm getting the flakes. Like, the gel is trying to tell me, you know, I'm not for your hair or something, you know. Forgive me for thinking that African-American, whatever, because nobody was wearing wash and go here in Ghana or in Africa for me to see it okay so that's just it so i just wasn't seeing all of those things my concealer is also from zikel in the shade nude i love zikel products though that was my struggle for a very long time so let me cut the story short i went 
I've always loved stylists that do curls, okay? Because I there's none. I mean, there was none here in Ghana. So, I mean, I actually, you know, loved, I love to see stylists work. So I follow lots of stylists that do both tight curls and loose curls and all of that. So then I jumped into the DM of one of the stylists that adults me so much I don't even understand why. So I jumped into his DM. He's actually a male. So I jumped into his DM and then I was like, I love your work. And she, he was like, oh, thank you. Uh, I think he also checked my profile. He was like, my hair is so beautiful and all of that, I, you know. Yeah, some people, he is white, okay. Some people can actually be really nice. He checked my page and told me that, oh, you also have very beautiful hair. And I said, yes, I love my curls, but I love to wear my hair curly. But anytime I do it, I get flaking on my hair. And then he told me that it's because I use oils and butters on my hair. <laughs> I was like, what, the, what do you, what do you mean? I was like, I was just saying in my hair, like, you're white, so you don't understand. Because we black people, we do oils and butters. It's, it's a, it's a, you know, ancestors thing, you know. So you can't, you can't come and tell me that I can't use oils and butters on my hair. Like, <laughs> what, 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 what am I coming online to tell my people that maybe, it's because of oils and butters that's why i have taken up my hair or something i don't know and if i will stop using the oils and butters then what then am i going to use on my hair so when he told me that i actually did okay so i have this eyeshadow palette okay and i use the darkest one for my eyelash for my eyebrows and i work with an angled brush to do it i mean we were chatting and he was like it's because I use oils and butters on my hair and that they formed a film on my hair. And this this story that I'm telling you was like back in 2019, okay? That was, I mean, that time I had not even heard of I am Lago Curls or whatever. But before that, I had heard Kimberly Sherrell say on her channel that she stopped using oils in her hair. I mean, so at that time, I mean, I would still do um, my pre-pull and all of that, but I wouldn't use oils when I am styling. Like, you know, I kind of reduced my oil use for some time, you know. To me, not using it, I felt like I was just lazy. You know how people would, you know, oil their scalp and all of that. I, I just, I was just lazy, okay, because, I mean, I was just lazy. I was just feeling so lazy to do all of those things. We talked and he also talked about the fact that most of the products that he has seen me use on my page are heavily buttered and heavily oiled products. Those were his exact words, you know, heavily oiled and heavily buttered products. And these products are what, they don't let water get into my hair. And so the products just like kind of sit on my hair. So, I was just listening, like, everything was just like, you know, um, how do I put it? Everything was just like new to me. I'm like, he even mentioned that um, about the use of shampoos, that the shampoos I use are also strong. So, they, I mean, he just, he said a bunch of things that if I should go there right now to read it, that's when I would understand because now I kind of know, I have an idea of what exactly I'm doing with my hair, even though I'm still learning, you know? Everything sounded like gibberish to me because I'm like, he doesn't have my hair. So probably he doesn't understand how it is for me to take care of my hair. So he was like, I should, I shouldn't, if I use water-based products, I won't need to use um, strong shampoos and all the things that I've been putting on my hair. So I was like, okay. I mean, I didn't want to be rude and try to, you know, explain it all because one thing about me is that I respect professionals, okay? Even if I go to the traditional salons that we have here, sometimes the salon, the people in the salon want to, they have this habit of putting on the shea butter before they would apply the leave-in on your hair, you know? And sometimes when I go 
and they try to challenge me like I don't like to talk too much okay I'm, I'm like I'd better do my hair at home than rather go into someone's office and tell the person what to do you know so if I don't do it in my house and I go there I'm just gonna let them do their work okay so uh, but I started doing my own hair like a long time ago yeah right when I went natural because I mean I didn't I just didn't trust anyone to do my natural hair because I've been to salons all my life because I've always had relaxed hair okay and we always go to the salon so it means that like I, I just know that they don't have the time and even the water to use to rinse our hair well and also I, I, I just made it a point to just you know do it myself so I was just doing my hair myself so when he said that I didn't want to challenge him because he's a professional and he is diva curl trained and all of that so I mean the fact that I don't understand what he's doing does not mean that I have to disrespect it so he said all of that and I said okay all right thank you and then I mean I left the page he also talked about the fact that I use eco styler on my hair and that eco styler is plastic gel and and that they just sit on my hair and I mean that's part of why the flaking and all of that and that my hair isn't hydrated I mean when he said my hair wasn't hydrated I was like oh this guy you know what hydrated hair is because I mean I do my LCO really nicely and I liked LCB I mean instead of oils I'll use butters because you know I, I felt like he didn't know what he was saying so when he said my hair is dehydrated and all of that I didn't understand he talked about my hair being dehydrated and all I'm like you don't you've not even felt my hair they're talking like you know my hair that kind of thing so guys he said all of that and actually didn't pay any attention to it the years later came I am black of course not like they came years later but that's when I heard about them and then they were saying the same thing so it wasn't new to me Right there and there, I took the time to want to really get into this because if one professional has said it before, then it probably like actually meant something. So I had to listen, you know. So I went back to his messages, read everything, and I was like, yo, if I had listened to him, asked more and everything, I would have started this detox like long long ago okay I would have started this detox long long ago besides that as a content creator or whatever influencer whatsoever I never go on Instagram or on any of these social media platforms and see my colleagues my colleague creators talk about not using oils and all of that so and I know how it is when a trend comes on and everybody you know people will say it's not good it's not, I, I was like am i going to go out there alone and say it and have people come at me so i mean i didn't know how to even go about it that's even part of why i didn't even listen to steve when he told me all of that and i also felt like he didn't have my hair so he didn't understand what he was saying for the i am black girl curls thing you know i ordered some products the products that i got my hands on first was the uncle funky's um, gel so when I got the uncle funky's gel I decided to give it a try so I used that alone for my wash and go and before that everything else was flaking I remember when um, wet line came I tried wet line and it didn't flake but wet line wasn't readily available in Ghana even now it's not like readily readily available in Ghana so I was like oh my god this is the gel that works for me and you know and now it's not available like what do i do the very first time that i used the uncle funky's gel on my hair um i used too much you know how we use products you know we use gels i was taking it like section by section take your pump and since it wasn't clumping my hair like um you know eco styler will clump i i was still using more you know so my, actually, my hair actually got defined, but no elongation whatsoever. So yeah, it was defined, and but it was like a fro. 
So I was like, okay, fine. I think this is just what I'm going to get. And then, I mean, I took it to work. So it was very sticky because of the glycerin that was in it that did, did didn't stick that was in it. Yeah. So it was really sticky in my hair. Anytime I touched my hair, I could feel the stickiness. And then it started flaking. I, I knew it. It was like I was kind of used to flaking, you know. I was kind of used to flaking. Like every time I wear from it, be like, there are always stuff in your hair. Why was that? If the gels you put in your hair is not helping you, just stop using it, you know? It really bothered me, you know? And like every time, my mom would be like, there's that stuff in your hair. What are, those th what, what are those things in your hair? Those kind of things. So I battled with flaking. Like <laughs> it was so bad. So that was my first experience with Angle Funkies. And then I started doing this detox. Like guys, I didn't even realize the time that the flaking stopped. But I realized as I stopped using these gels, using these oils, using these butters, I, I just came to know that like the flaking just stopped because let me say all the gunk on my hair went away. So the flaking stopped. So I was like, oh my God. I remember one time, I don't know if I said it here on YouTube, or one time I finished styling my hair and I was like, wow. Like, miampa na meye mitia and flaky. Which means, like, I'm surprised that I would do my hair and there is no flaking. I can't believe it, because this is not me. This thing bothered me so much that, you know, I had a hair steamer, okay? I had a hair steamer um, sent to me. So, anytime after styling my hair with the eco styler and all of those things, I would actually sit under the steam trying to get every product to melt into my hair so that my hair won't flake. Like, guys, it was so, it was bad. Like, I have this palette from Zikel too, so it has all the powder colors and all of that. So, that's what I use for my hair. I use the second darkest for my contour and all of that I, I i i don't like really really contour i don't really do any serious makeup though but i do my best at least i can make up and go out for a party i don't go for parties okay to go for a friend's wedding or to film a video so that was it and so the flaking stopped so i i was like surprised so it means that all that the, the man told me about my hair was actually true and now that um, not all products flake on my hair, I get to know that when I use a lot, it's flaking. I, I get to know what exactly is causing the flaking. It's not like there's something wrong with my hair or whatever because at first, like right after my wash and go dries, <laughs> it just starts flaking. Like I shake my hair and it's all over the place. And my I have really black hair, you know, and like you can like see it so clear that i mean it's there like the flaking the flakes are there and all of that and it was a really bad experience if there is anybody here that has also battled with flaking that this whole detox thing has helped him or her like if maybe you haven't realized it but it has really cut down on the flaking thing and now like everything is you know going so well with us and I actually love it now I can use the honey ginger gel and, and it won't flick anymore now I can use the Camille Rose curl makeup and my hair won't flick but I remember the first time that I used it it flicked miserably you know and that was even part of why I didn't even use it again because I was like it's, it's just not working for me so I stopped using it this is it so that, that has been my experience with flaking. It was that bad. It bothered me. It bothered me so, 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 so much. Like at a point I was like, I'm just gonna stop doing wash and goes and wear twist styles or something. Or, you know, do those styling where I, I have to like, I'll just stretch my hair and style it. Because if I put gel or any cream for that matter on my hair, it's just going to flake. So let me just like, you know, just stop using it because maybe gels are not my thing or something but i just simply loved wash and go so so much so this 
starting this detox thing has really really helped me with my flaking it looks like everything that i wanted for my hair i have it now and i'm just so grateful like i'm just so grateful because i love how my hair is now now I, my hair my my curls don't my, my my hair doesn't flake or anything if it would flake maybe like day four like today for instance i mean if you look closely on my shoulders right now you would see that there are some flaking because the hair that i have on now is like four days old and like tomorrow will be five days and which is like getting close to um me washing my hair not because of the days but i mean my scalp i need to clean my scalp you know so i've done this bogus makeup here and i think i am done with my makeup this is the best that i can do for myself right now so this has been my experience with flaking and how you know this detox thing is like a life-changing something for me i don't have issues with flaking anymore everything seems to be working like perfectly fine I've got color now and my hair is still doing great everything is going really really well for me and I am you know so grateful that it didn't just you know teach me about basic hair care but it is like the answer to most of my problems that I had with my hair I'm more like educated on what to do I kind of know exactly what I am doing now you know um, like I said, even though I'm still learning, I kind of know what I am doing now. And, and um, yeah, <laughs> it's been almost a year since I started this detox. And I must say that I am very, very pleased. Everything, like I've noticed so much change in my hair. And I love that I did all of this. I'm actually really glad. So guys, I think my makeup is done. Guys, don't be laughing at me in the comment section below like how good are you with your makeup and also let me know what you have learned ever since you started this detox you know let me know what you have learned so this is the same you know no part wash and go that you, you probably saw in my previous video and yeah so i'm going to like fix fix the hair and everything and i'm gonna come back and talk to you guys okay guys so this is my hair hey guys so thank you so much for watching this video i must say that if you're watching this video and you haven't started a detox or whatever like you should start it because it comes like a whole package and the hair the, the education and everything you need to get yourself into it and enjoy your hair because i'm enjoying my hair okay guys so i will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching what how do you think i did with the makeup and everything okay thank you so much and i'll see you in my next one bye guys